Come on, y'all. Just listening to uh, Jared over there on Guns and Gadgets. And, uh, if you haven't seen some of his recent stuff, I highly recommend you getting over there. Uh, definitely need to be in the know on that. But he was talking about things, and it kind of really dawned on me how everybody had been talking about the squatter situation here recently. You know, and of course, everybody knows the migrant situation or illegal aliens or whatever the hell you want to call them. Because, I mean, facts are facts. You come across illegally, then, you know, you broke the law. That's kind of how it goes. But, uh, the whole census thing coming up. It's kind of funny how you get all these people coming in and then you get a really large influx of squatters. And then you get even people on TikTok telling all these people coming in how to basically take over these properties. Okay, well, if you've got a house full of people that, you know, might have been empty, might have been getting sold, you know, a lot of these places that are being taken over while people own them, they're not actually living in them, obviously, at the time. Well, you get the census come around, you got a house full of people and... Then all of a sudden, you got a whole lot of extra people in a district or, you know, maybe even getting some extra people on there. Kind of funny how that works out, isn't it? So, uh, anybody else want to tell me this isn't already all planned out? If you haven't figured it out yet, y'all need to get ready. Food, water, shelter, protection, communication people pretty simple stuff a lot of stuff we take for granted I was also listening to Junius uh, I'm really going to mess that name up Junius Malty I'll have to link it or something but Aloha Stacker turned me on to him talking about silver and gold all that good stuff but he was, he's got family that, uh, let's just say that has seen things, you know, firsthand. Old women was, uh, the conversation he was talking about. Talking about how us in the U.S. have no clue as to what's coming. And they're right. We have no clue as to what's coming. Because a lot of us have never known that. A lot of us today have never even known a time before the internet. Think about that. For anybody, any of us that can actually remember before the internet, well, I'm talking to you on right now. Think about that for one second. How many out there do not know what the world was like before the internet? Let's go back a little further. You know, I mean, what do you want to talk about? Communications? So, let's go back before phones. Yeah. Electricity hasn't been around that long, to be honest about it. If you really think about the big scheme of, you know, humanity. So what are we really ready for? You can have all the things, but if you don't know what you're doing, then... A lot of that information has been lost over the years. So if you know something, how to do anything, I highly recommend you teaching the people around you. Those people are going to be looking towards you anyway. When all this stuff starts to go down, reach out, make those, you know, make those friendships and stuff now. You're going to need people. Uh -huh. Hope somebody listens to this. Otherwise, once again, like, kind of like he said, I'm just staring at a camera out here in my front yard talking to myself. But I really hope everybody gets ready. And understands that things are going to get a whole lot worse. And a lot of people have no clue as to what those kind of conditions are like. There's a lot of people out there still that know what hard conditions are like. Going hungry, dirt floor, whatever background you want to call it from. But there's also a lot of people out there that a hard day is the internet being out. Yeah. So for those people, 
you really have no clue as to what a hard time is, and they're coming. As for everybody else, I hope you're getting ready. We'll catch you around.